Edor Delmira, in the name of the countless who have suffered under your cruel ambitions, I shall strike you down! You speak of ambitions as if they are anathema. But what is this but the result of your own lust for power? How many have you killed to stand here before me? How much blood has been spilled? There is only one truth, her truth, and I shall send you before her begging for mercy. What? It's moving! Everyone on your guard! Your orders? <laughs> Allow me for victory. With you. I shall protect you. Farewell. Defeat is not an option. I'll make this quick. Ha ha! Let us pry out their weakness. We make it up here. You are not but a soulless husk, and you have no voice with which to speak. Norzelia ill needs a leader such as you. Shall we begin? Allow me. Stay right there! So, it falls to me. A cold wind blows. My turn. I'll kill you and end the war. Yeah. 
enough. Prepare to face the Dawn Spear. Look carefully. It is our ability to face death with dignity that makes human life precious. One who would forsake that has no right to lead others. And what have you done for your fellow man, Donspear? Killed them time and again. Don't speak to me of humanity. Ah. Forward! Misguided ideas threaten to corrupt the realm, Seven Holy Fort. I shall cut off their spread at the source. Repent, and I shall grant you a swift death. I walk a path unclouded by doubt. A path of my own making. Come what may, my steps shall never waver. Death from above! My divine rule was to last forevermore. Yeah. Sarah Noah Wolfort, it must feel good to wield your blade for your ideals. But you will regret it in time. Human greed will fill the void left behind by the goddess. Those you sought to bring happiness to will criticize and condemn you. I know. That is the fate of a leader of men. But I will never stop believing in people. I will walk beside them toward a better tomorrow. I once believed in the same ideals. I prayed to the goddess endlessly for the people's salvation. But she never answered my prayers and the people remained fools. Only then did I realize the goddess did not exist. That I had to save my people by mine own hand. Edor, why not put your faith in people once more? You would forgive even me. You must atone for your wrongs, of course. But after that, you would be free to walk a different path. <laughs> you naive fools. Done. I have activated the remaining Elfric in the palace. Soon, all will be reduced to dust. But why? Remember this, Serenoa Walfort. Not everyone is like you. Humans will never be cured of their stupidity. No matter how much you love your fellow man, inevitably, he will betray you. Be that as it may, I still choose to believe. <laughs> then know this. The path you would walk will lead nowhere but despair. 
I will await you in hell. The palace is collapsing! We must go now. Even if I sink into the depths of despair, I will find a path out. As long as I keep walking, there will always be hope. Hurry, Saranoa! The Hierophant's Palace, once a symbol of prosperity in the holy state of Hyzant, crumbles and sinks into the source, taking Edor and his baleful puppets along with it. So it is that the long war that began with the unearthing of salt crystals comes to an end. The hearts of the Norzelian people are shaken to learn of the new sources of salt, the Roselan history of the land, and the end of an era of three warring nations. Once the Hyzantians learn the truth of the goddess's teachings, their influence is shattered, and the holy state descends into chaos. In Esfrost, the late Archduke's staunch followers refuse Farag's new rule. Fortunately, the tumult is short-lived. Serenoa, Roland, and their loyal companions show the way, espousing the tenets of a new Norzelia. One built around the ideals of mutual understanding and cooperation. Gradually, doubts are dispelled and anxieties allayed. Peace returns to the realm under the rule of King Roland of Glenbrook. And for the first time in history, all the people of Norzelia take their first steps on a new path. Together. I would see the day my people would be welcome anywhere. Yet here we are. It truly is a dream come true. It took some time for everyone to adjust, but now it feels like the Roselle have been here their whole lives. Hi. With things finally settling down here, the young lord and King Roland can move the people forward. One step at a time. Indeed. And we must do everything in our power to see their plans through. Frederica, how good it is to see you again. Glenbrook seems to have gotten back on its feet. It has, Uncle. How fares Esfrost? Some of Gustadolf's most loyal followers resisted the change, but we managed to peacefully resolve our differences in time. Ain't that a relief? Truly, it is. I would be loath to sully Esfrost's history any further, and I am certain Dragan would agree. 
Well, well. To think dignitaries can stand about chatting in the open like this. What a world we live in now. Minister Lila, welcome. I hope your journey was a pleasant one. You can scarcely imagine my surprise when I heard that King Roland had asked for me by name. In truth, I was unsure of whether or not to answer his summons. After everything I have done, I cannot imagine being worthy of such a lofty position. Of course you are, Minister. After the Hyzantian people lost everything they believed in, you were the one who kept them together. You also shared your research with the public. Countless lives were saved thanks to you. I am flattered you think so. But in the end, it was I who was saved. Ha <laughs> ha! Come now! Let us save the catching up for later. We must be on our way to the castle. Where is your dear husband-to-be, Frederica? He is with Benedict at Castle Wolfort. Discussing the prospects of the new salt crystal mines. They will make their way here once they're finished. Lord Serenoa is as ardent to youth as always, I see. <laughs> it has been an honor to serve. Wait! Where do you think you're going? I strayed from the path of righteousness, my lord. You speak of the day we all stood divided. Indeed. Had you not been there to unite us, Lord Serenoa, I shudder to think what our fate might have been. Ever since then, I have been plagued by nightmares. Visions of Norzelia swallowed up in flames because of my foolish counsel. But Norzelia has emerged stronger, and we could not have safeguarded her without you. My plan callously ignored Lady Frederica's people, and would have driven King Roland away. I failed you, both as steward to House Wolfort and as a man. I have no right to be part of this realm's future. Stop right there, Benedict. Who among us has not once erred? What is important is that we learn from our mistakes. If you haven't the strength to stand after you fall, you must learn to lean on others. That is how we came this far. Whenever one of us became lost, the others helped us find our path. Is that not the way of your beloved House Wolfort? Lord Serenoa. Our work has just begun. We must stand together to forge the best path forward. We cannot hope to do this without you. Pray remain with us, Benedict. House Wolfort needs you. As do I. <sighs> I refuse. I refuse to abandon House Wolfort and its lord. My allegiance lies with you, Lord Serenoa, now and forever. I am heartened to hear this, my friend. I will not fail you, or this realm, my lord. Now then. You are on your way to the Crown City, if I am not mistaken. Let us make haste, so as not to keep King Roland waiting. Ah, yes. About that. You still waver as to whether or not to divulge to him the truth. <laughs> there is nothing I can hide from you, Benedict. I, I know I should keep the secret for House Wolfort's sake. And yet... Do as your heart tells you, my lord. The bond between the two of you will not fray now. Your words hearten me, Benedict. I now know what I must do. Saranoa? Is everything all right? 
There is still time until the ceremony. There is something I must tell you, Roland. But of course, friend. What is it? I want you to see this. It was given to me by my lord father before he passed. A royal signet? But only those of the royal line are meant to have this. However, did Lord Simon come to possess it? My father told me on his deathbed that it was given to him by King Regna to be passed on to me. But that would mean... Indeed. My mother, the Lady Destra, came to House Wolfort bearing His Majesty's child. Then that makes us... Brothers? I am sorry, Roland. Perhaps I should have carried this secret to my grave, but... I simply could not. I do not expect you to simply take me at my word. Pray examine the ring for yourself. There is no need. I trust Lord Simone's words. You do? Do you recall that fateful day, Saranoa? When our diverging convictions threatened to tear us apart? I do. You, Frederica, and Benedict, you could not see eye to eye. I lost sight of my duty as king and thought bending the knee to Heizant would save us. I feel ashamed of my cowardice to this very day. But you were different. You never gave up. You found a path we were all willing to walk together. I think that more than proof enough of your royal blood. But no. Being king is not just a matter of lineage. A king must hold fast to his ideals and be a beacon of hope to his people. His ears must be attuned to the wishes of all, and his eyes must see all paths, even those not shown by the scales. Sarah Noah, my brother, you are capable of that and much more. I have no doubt you were meant to rule this realm. Roland. I will give you the throne, if you so wish it, and swear to see your will done. I am flattered, but I must refuse. Your words now are proof enough of your kingship, Roland. The people are ever in your heart, and you have shown that you can look back and learn from your mistakes. Marcellian needs a king like you at his helm. I am Serenoa, son of Simon and ward of House Wolfort, ever a faithful vassal to his majesty, and his closest friend. I just could not go on living without telling you the truth. Hmm. Your majesty, everyone has arrived. Thank you, Huet. Let us begin the ceremony. Thank you, everyone, for coming here today. The war is over, and we have reached an agreement on the Salt Crystals. They will be deemed property of the Norzellian people as a whole, and be distributed fairly across the land. Lord Swarog and Minister Lila, we cannot thank you enough for your help in this endeavor. Think nothing of it, King Roland, but know that this is just the beginning of a new age. Indeed. And in this new age, I hope that all of Norzelia can overcome the borders of our nations and join together as one. In order to do so, Lenbrook wishes for an equal and peaceful union with Esfrost and Heisen. And the first steps toward that are self-governing territories, yes? Correct. I will allow for free trade of goods, salt crystals included, between these territories. I will gradually ease the borders, while fostering awareness of a unified Norzellian people. I would like Lord Svarog to preside over the new Esfrosti territory. 
Of course, King Roland. I will do all I can to achieve my son's vision. Minister Lila, I would like you to preside over the Hyzantian territory. Gladly, King Roland. I'm presiding over both Wolfort and the Rosellan territory. I would have none other than my dearest friend and companion, Sarah Noah Wolfort. As you command, Your Majesty. And I do believe that concludes the formalities. I have but one more order for you, Sarah Noah. Ask and it shall be done. If you insist. I order you and Lady Frederica to have your long overdue wedding at the soonest opportunity. What? Roland, there are still so many matters to attend to. We couldn't possibly. This is an order from your sworn liege. You dare not refuse, Lord Wolfhorns. Roland. <laughs> what better to mark the start of an era of unity than a wedding? You will be my nephew in no time, Lord Serenoa. I know it is sudden, but shall we, Frederica? I would like nothing more. I never expected to see all these familiar faces here. It is a true testament to the path they walk together. Indeed, this is not only a celebration for Glenbrook and the Roselle, but S. Frost and Hyzant as well. Their union will become a symbol of the new era. A new dawn is breaking over Norzelia, and I am honored to be here to see it. The young lord's all grown up now. Feels like it was just yesterday when he was no higher than my knee. I feel the same about Frederica. She was always alone, yet today she is someone's bride. This is the happiest day of my life. My friends, it would appear the young couple is ready to begin. Without further ado, let us commence the ceremony. Please welcome the bride and groom, Frederica Esfrost and Sarah Noah Wolfort.